Hi, I'm Kim and I'm an elementary school teacher. Today I'm here to show you interactive math word problems. Interactive math word problems are a great way to teach fundamental math concepts. I'm going to show you how I would use this program in my class. So this is the menu. You can put in a specific problem number or choose from a specific topic. I'm going to go with division today. Now the, the problem will pop up right here. It's way too small for the kids in the back of the classroom to see, so you can magnify it. And now everyone can read it together. Grandpa Joe bought a bag of candy to share with Trish and Katie. There are 12 pieces of candy in the bag. How many pieces can Grandpa Joe, Trish, and Katie each have? Now you can highlight or underline. I like to highlight. I'm going to highlight the important information for my students. 12 pieces of candy. Grandpa Joe, Trish, and Katie each have. And they are going to share this. So they're going to share 12 pieces. Now I'll give my students some time to work on this on their own. When they're all finished, I will go over this with my class and show them how I would solve this problem. So I can choose a pencil. I can choose a color. I'm going to choose blue. 12 pieces of candy. We have Trish, Katie, and Joe. Now I can drag these manipulatives over, which is a really helpful visual for the students. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now they can see that each person would get four candies. If this was an upper grade problem and say the number was 50, you don't want to take the time to drag out 50 candies. Right here, you can drag and drop this. It's, this is 10 candies, so that would save you a lot of time. Now I would then change the color and show my students that this problem can actually be solved like this too. 12 divided by 3 people equals 4. Okay, so we're ready to solve. I'd hit the solve button and multiple choice pops up. If I hit four, yay, we know we got it right. If my students were working alone or in a group on this and they got three as their answer, they would get immediate feedback and see that, nope, that's incorrect. So we're finished with this problem. I could hit next to go to the next division problem or menu to go back to the menu and choose from a different topic or a specific problem number. As you can see, this program is fun, it's easy to use, and your kids will love it. Thanks for your time.